Hey guys, Anne with cnsave.com, back for the start of another vlog. It is Friday, and I don't know if you can tell that the weather is horrible. We are bracing for a winter weather event, blizzard, snow, wind, ice, rain, sleet, horror, supposedly coming our way, although this being Iowa, it could completely blow over. But it is, it has been raining and the temperatures are dropping. So if nothing else, it's probably gonna get icy. Um, my plan for the day had been to go to the consignment store, drop off a bag, maybe do some sourcing, maybe go to Dillard's because they're doing an extra 40% off clearance. Um, I did post about that on um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I don't know if you have Dillard's where you are. I think they're more of like in the Midwest, down south area, like central time zone. They're kind of like, Dillard's and Von Mauer are the two priciest department stores in our area. But that being said, they're still not like super expensive. Although Von Mauer does carry, I once went in there and they had Burberry bags. I'm like, who in this town is gonna buy a Burberry bag? I'd like one, but I'm not gonna buy one. But um, Dillard's like, the most expensive thing Dillard's carries would be Ralph Lauren and Coach Purses. <clears throat> um, and Von Mauer, like I said, does have some brands. But I hate going over to Von Mauer. It's really frou-frou over there. It's like a fancy looking store. They have a piano player and a bird. Although when I was a teenager, I shopped in there because they had a Swatch Watch case. I've totally gone off subject here. So anyway, back to that. Those are like the two, you know, nice stores in the area. Um, and I wanted to see what the 40% off was, but I really don't have time to do that. I need to get home. The only reason I'm out now is because I had to get uh, Papa a refill on one of his prescriptions. And since um, it's right by the new Dollar Tree, I thought I'd just could take a few minutes to pop in before I get home. As you can see, they're building a Home Goods, and they are building a Ross, and they just opened a new Hobby Lobby. Um, they moved the Hobby Lobby from one area in this part of town to a, to this one. Then we have one in another area. So we have two Hobby Lobbies, $15 million trees. But this is the first Home Goods and the first Ross for less, dress for less we're getting. So anyway, I got to quit babbling, going and see if there's anything good at this Dollar Tree and then get home before I have to ice skate home, which I don't think that I don't know how to ice skate. So that wouldn't be a good thing. That'd be bad. Okay, here we go. So I'm home from Dollar Tree. Here's what I got. Got Papa a couple more crossword puzzle books. They are so hard to find, the crossword puzzles. He likes the easy ones. These didn't say easy, but I don't know. But the other thing is, is that sometimes I get where it says easy and he's like, they're too hard. Oh, anyway, um, then I love these. I got flowers for my mom and my uh, brother's graves. I got my mom the yellow ones. And look, they have the Easter eggs and Easter bunnies in them. And I got purple for Danny, two of the eggs and the bunny. What was interesting is that the ones, I think these rang up for 50 cents, the ones with the eggs. Some rang up 50 cents, some rang up a dollar. I needed more tissues for my purse, got those. Got some more of these liquid um, foaming hand soaps, which I really like. I know I've heard other people that don't like them, but I like them. Um, got Papa a couple more liquid creamers because... They kind of come in and out of stock. I maybe should have gotten it more, but that'll keep them for a while. And then I got these little packs of Easter eggs, like little foam. Um, they had other colors too, but I just like the blue, the yellow, and the pink um, to decorate for Easter. So that's what I got at the Dollar Tree. And now I need to get my blog work done for the day, I, which I have recently streamlined to make it go faster. And then... We shall get back to listing because I have a lot of stuff that needs to get on uh, eBay as well as Amazon. And speaking of eBay, it is super slow. <laughs> One sale overnight. Oh, this is a Jones New York women's blazer that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, $3 or less. Or did I get it at the consignment store? I don't know. I paid three bucks or less for it. And it sold on sale for uh, $12.49. Buyer did pay shipping on top of that. I'm going to see if I can get it in a uh, flat rate bubble mailer. So I am listing like crazy, but sales are slow. There's nothing you can do. You know, I've got sales running. I've got best offer. You know, like, like I'm doing what I, all I can do. I just have to be patient. I'm trying to be more patient and hold on to things. But um, I do have quite a bit in that 50% off that I started, I think, a couple weeks ago. And speaking of flat rate bubble mailers, is anyone else, like, not getting them? I think I've ordered them, like, three times now, and they are not coming. So I'm a little annoyed at that because I'm getting down to the last bit of it, and I need more.
it is now Friday after dinner and I finally had an eBay sale. I'm listing like crazy, so doing what I can do. But uh, this county seat jacket, it's got some age to it, I'd say like 80s, maybe early 90s. I picked it up at Goodwill for less than $3. Or it could have been a dollar. I can't remember which sale I got at. But anyway, um, it sold on sale for $17.49. And the buyer paid shipping on top of that. It's estate sale Saturday. There's one estate sale today. This looks like a kind of townhome condo thing. Um, and our big blizzard didn't turn out to be much. <laughs> About an inch of snow. So the roads are clear. I'm able to get out with no problem. It's half off day. Got my bag, so go in and see what I can find. Hi, Papa. Hi. Are you unloading all of my estate sale finds? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Hi, Lulu. Lu. Were you sad that you didn't go with me today? Heck no. Heck no. Well, they all asked about you because you're very popular. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the only truth. <laughs> Ready to help me film a haul video? Yep. yep. No or yeah. Okay. All right. I spent $47.50 today. Oh my God. So you can't eat the rest of the week. <laughs> this, I don't know what this is, but it's such in good condition. It's Lady Love. I don't know if it was like a, like a makeup door-to-door -door salesperson or doll or something, but it was in such good shape. I had to get it. Got some leather bags. What's the, um, you look in there in the name. Rolly, D-A-W-L-I. And it says genuine leather, right? Yes, genuine leather, leather made in the USA. Yeah. Can you um, like put you know, like put the label up and I'll put show it here on camera. I never, but I got it because it was leather made in the USA. Whoop! <laughs> and clearly vintage. This in good shape. Too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, see about that. We'll see about that, right, Lou? And then those two black ones under it, under that bag, Dad, oh. they're, one has a good label. I think they both have the same label, but one has a better label. But they're both leather. I think the other one, the label's bigger, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same label. Yeah, same label, but uh, Antonia Designs Genuine Leather. Mm. Yeah, they're both that. Yeah. Mm. They were small and leather and cheap and good in good shape. Yeah. <laughs> Then these are cute little plates, and there's seven of them, and they are, did you get the name on the back? Well, I mean, here, I'll Linden, put it in the camera so I can focus. Linder, Linder Coop, Coops Bavaria, made in Germany, Echt Cobalt. Hmm. Good grief, was this originally $75? <laughs> or is that 75 cents? I don't know if they have a little sticker on them. Then I got a few pieces of jewelry in the jewelry room, which they guard for their life, even though everything's a dollar. <laughs> so I just got a couple tie, um, what are those, Dad? That's a tie tag. Tie tag, tie -tack, yeah. That's a tie bar. Tie bar, yeah. And then I got a vintage swatch nice watch. watch. Swatch watch! <laughs> what is it? Swatch. Oh. Vintage swatch. You remember how I always used to have the swatch watches? Nope, I don't remember. You don't remember? Uh, what's this thing? Um, it was like little doll clothes, but I got it because it had the box. And it's the box is Anne. Oh, what's it say? Nancy Ann. Nancy Ann. Nancy Ann's storybook. Yeah. So, dolls. Storybook dolls. There were a lot of doll clothes there, and some lady bought them all. Doll clothes? Yeah. Okay, then another leather wallet, and this was the name... Still, a, got, the per, still yeah. got the pen with it. There was a, it's genuine leather. It's got a little logo on the front. I don't know what it is. Oh, um, yeah, let me see here. I think there's something here. What's that say? Can you read that, what that says on that label? I can't read it. Probably says it's worth a million dollars. I'll have to get out oh, my... Yeah. Here, that's, oh, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> Bernini. Yeah. Anyway. Well, this is a $1,000 bill right there. $1,000 bill. Yep. Then got some toner. 
new in the box. Although that one has a tape on it. I need to open it up and make sure the ink inside is still sealed. Yeah. And then got lots of mugs, mugs galore. So, well, first let's show these because these are rose. Is it Rosewood or Roseville? Roseville Pottery. Now, I don't know if somebody put I Love Popcorn on them themselves or... Roseville, Ohio. Yeah. That's not Roseville. Minnesota. Oh, Roseville, Ohio. Is it Roseville, Minnesota, the Roseville is? Yeah, well, that's what I thought. About oh, well, I don't know what this is then. Well, I'll look it up. Lots of coffee mugs. Got these two, those blue ones there in front, Dad. Because, yeah, that. I think I've had something like this before, but I couldn't make out the logo. I couldn't either, but, you know, for a quarter. For a quarter. No, if they're no. not worth anything, I'd take them to the consignment store. I don't know what they are. I think that one's, I don't know, a bunny and a fish and a bee and a flower. Then these, I think, are all the same. This is 222 Fifth Bone China Fia. Oh. Yeah. Bone China. That's supposed to be bu England. Then. Bah ba humbug. Ba humbug. That's your mug. Nope. Okay. Is that like a papal, I think? I don't know what this is. Some cartoon. Then. Oh, these are Lockheed Martin. Yeah. Which one is very dirty. Those two are the same. That one, can you turn around? Yeah, that one's really dirty. Aviation stuff. I mean, hopefully get 10 bucks on each. That's another Christmas mug. It's the holiday season. Don't want to celebrate with anyone else. A Russ. There's a papal. Christmas makes me you jolly. Oh, and friends light up the holidays. So special. And then these, I don't know what... They are. Can you open that up? Because they say something, but I couldn't tell what they said. Are they Happy Joes? Happy? I don't know. I don't. I oh, can't. Happy Holidays. Oh, Happy Holidays. Okay. Well, I don't know what they are, but they were in a little bag and they were in good shape. So I'll look them up and see if they're anything. Then this, oh, got a set of flatware. So now I'm backed up on flatware again because I have one. But this was you know, like, a big set. With flatware, put everything on half price on your silver. Um, a lot of it is. Oh. So thanks for the advice. What's this? Do you know? Well, this was a big box. Oh, well, it was a big box of just craft stuff. But I got it because they had some kits in here that were sealed needle point. So this is a Hummel, a Buccili, Buccila. I don't know. The Christmas collection. I am always hit or miss with these, but they were cheap and they were already... Oh, that's um, Wizard of Oz. And then just had miscellaneous stuff, which I'll probably donate. Books. Whoops. Another Hummel. More miscellaneous pattern stuff. I guess maybe I... I don't know. have to look it up, see if I could lot it together. If it's worth anything, it probably... Some of this stuff can be, some most I feel like I get isn't. I guess it's just Paperwork, booklets, more. What's this? I don't this know. is, oh, it's um, cross stitch fabric. This looks like, I don't know, that I looks like that's been stuff used. Goes together there's nothing really. Yeah, it's just booklets and whatnot. So, anyway, I got it mainly for these things. So. Anyway, that's today's haul. Oh, you forgot to. Oh my gosh! Well, I that. Got a necktie like that one. Oh my, that is fancy well, schmancy. You some oh, I got a thimble. Oh, and I forgot the. Oh, that's a latch hook, a latch hook hooker thing, and this little frame, and this thing here, and a tie, and some yarn. Oh, and then what are those? Oh my gosh, more stuff, more stuff. I don't know what it is. It's the floss ruler. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Thanks, Lucy. She's in her bed. She's like, I don't like any of this that you're doing. I don't. Oh, you're such a good girl. It is now Saturday after dinner. I haven't um, vlogged much today because I've just been super busy listing. I got all of the pants that I had. Those are all listed. Then I did some estate sale finds from a week or so ago. Got those listed. And now I am going to start taking photos 
of short sleeve shirts so I can get all of those done. So moving right along. And I finally had a sale, another small one. Uh, this is a women's cold water Creek denim vest that I got at Goodwill. It would have been less than $2. It sold on sale for $12 and 49 cents. And the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. And it is just light enough to go a uh, first class in a poly bag. Coldwater Creek does well. Um, they close their stores, but now they sell online again. So it's a little bit more expensive than your typical mall clothing. Um, and of course, like anything, larger sizes do well, but I always look for their coats, jackets, blazers. <clears throat> um, those are the items that I've been pretty successful selling. And I would think, or I would say, looking at my recent sales, Coldwater Creek has probably been my most frequent seller. So be on the lookout for it. Like I said, you know, coats, jackets, blazers, larger sizes, the best as always. But I've sold smaller ones as well. So it's still a good brand to pick up. Hey, Lolo. Mommy can barely keep her eyes open because I have been listening like a mad woman. I just got all of the t-shirts and polos that I got at Gordman's. They are done. I have gotten all of the pants done. And now we can move on to the sweaters and whatnot, right? Because we're gonna get it listed even though we're moving into spring and summer because it's always cold somewhere. And winter clothes sell all the time, don't they? And it's better when you have time, get it listed now. Are you hiding behind that little piggies? Are you hiding behind? What's this guy do? <gasps> what do you think of that? She's like, um, I'm really not impressed with that. Okay. Yeah. You want to cuddle with him though? You want to cuddle? Oh, Maxie played with that, didn't he? Does it smell like Max? Yeah. Lucy's. Tell all our friends thank you for all the nice comments they left on our last video when I was venting about people who say that I yell at Papa. So many people commented that they're going through the same thing, taking care of parents, in-laws, grandparents, spouses. So I really, really, really appreciate all of the uh, support. And I know now a lot of you are all going through the same thing. It's not something people talk about or people really seem to know about so thank you to everyone who left super nice encouraging comments right Lucy yeah Lucy is so impressed she's not licking her foot okay Lou oh you're so pretty oh why won't the camera focus Lucy say mom time to upgrade your phone you need the new iPhone 7 the thing I hate about getting a new phone is that you actually have to go I guess I can see if I can order it online but I don't know. I hate to actually go to the cell phone store. It's just bleh. You always get some punk kid who's just, you know, exasperated and rude. Aren't they? They're so rude at the cell phone store. Sometimes. About one out of every five times. I get someone decent. The other times, not so much. Is it time for night night, Lucy? Well, Mommy's got to take all this downstairs now and bring up the last pile of the new with tag clothes. And then I still have the rack a second hand but uh, getting through it it is Sunday morning I was up till midnight last night listing but I am determined to get this stuff done um, and I only had one on eBay sale overnight it continues to be slow this is a Van Halen concert tee I got it at a family run I don't know if it was like a moving sale or a state sale um, anyway I got it for 50 cents I originally had it up for 20 and then it got put in my half off sale. So it sold for $9.99 uh, and the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. So it is going in a good old poly bag. Um, goal for today is to get all the clothes that I got at Gordman's and TJ Maxx listed. And my dad worked so hard this morning to get all of the stickers off. Oh my gosh, some of the stickers are just like glue on these things. So he sat down and he did all of them for me. I was very thankful for it. He saw me, I was going to do it, but he's like, no, 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 let me do it. So I got all of that off so that I can put them on the good old mannequin. Oh, it's kind of funny putting these like big and tall men's items on the mannequins. Looks a little strange, but it looks worse hung because they're so large. So yeah, I'm doing the best I can <laughs> with what I got. So that um, is the plan for today. Time to start taking photos.
I just took a break for lunch. I thought it'd be a good time to uh, share with you guys the results of the Prime Amazon Sweets box or the Amazon Prime Surprise Sweets. I shared this with you a couple of video videos ago, I think. Um, and I posted about it on my blog. So basically, Amazon has this new thing for Prime members. You can buy a Dash button, a Surprise Sweets button. It's $4.99. First of all, you get on a wait list. Then when, you're approved, when they get you in... They send you an email, do you want to buy the button? You can buy the button, it's $4.99. You get $4.99 credit back. Then, when you want to, you can push the button and they will send you a surprise sweets box. Box is $18, free shipping your Prime members. So here is the first one that I've gotten. So, again, I paid $4.99 for the button. I'm getting that back as credit. $18 for the box. So in this box are five... Fatty Sundays Sweet and Salty Chocolate Covered Pretzels. This box of Raspberry Cave Swedish Cookie with Butter and Raspberry Jam. This is a Root Beer Float Chocolate Bar. Hmm, interesting. These are Champagne Bubbles. Um, Let's see, champagne flavored gels covered in white non-parallel seeds. And then one little square of Fran's chocolate. And then the sheet tells you everything that's on it. So my initial reaction is I'm not impressed <laughs> for $18. Um, yeah, the boxes are all different. Well, I suppose if I had ordered like three of these at the same time, they would have all come at the same time, but they're supposed to be changing them out. So 18 bucks for these items. Now I know, you know, these are small artisan, um, more gourmet items. Here are the prices. The pretzels would normally sell for $6.98. The root beer float bar would sell for seven. The cookies would sell for $6.99. And the champagne bubbles would sell for five. So that is what, 14. Oh, I got to do the math in my head. 21, 26 bucks plus the little chocolate. So like basically $26 worth of treats for 18. So, you know, in that way, okay, it was a, you know, a bargain deal. Not a bargain. I don't know. But anyway, so first of all, I don't like sprinkles, so I don't can't see eating these. And I don't know. These don't really sound that exciting to me either. Champagne bubbles. The cookies, the root beer bar, and the chocolate. Okay, probably eat that. But yeah, I was expecting more. Now, usually when you get these subscription boxes in the food, like Orange Glad has one in Treat Seat. This is about the same amount of stuff you get in those. But they're small little companies. I honestly was expecting more from Amazon because it's Amazon and everything should be bigger and better. So I was expecting more stuff in here. So in that respect, I'm not very impressed. However, I'm probably gonna order another box maybe in a month or two um, because it is a new program. So I'll see if anything changes, if um, the products, what the products change to, maybe they put more things in. So we'll see. But anyway, I will put the link below for this whole uh, thing if you are interested in checking it out um, Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Would you get this? Have you gotten one? What do you think? So I will uh, like I said order another box in maybe a month or two and I will update you um, When that gets here Also since it's Sunday, there's a new Disney World vacation vlog up on my CN at WD YouTube channel it is linked below and in this video I get to finally see the electrical water pageant parades that they have at the Magic Kingdom Resorts, and there are actually two. There's one that um, goes right by the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, and the Contemporary, and then there's another one that's directly by the Magic Kingdom um, when they let out at night, and I never knew about that one either. Um, so anyway, yeah, head over there. I want to check that out. It's, you know, it, I'm taking this film in the dark. I tried to do the best I could, but it was pretty cool to see. Um, I had stayed at the Grand Floridian before, and I missed it. So I was glad to be able to uh, see it this time around as the boat goes by. <laughs> I love it when you're filming. Like, I don't know if you could tell last week's video, I'm filming the fireworks and, you know, the big ending is coming and then somebody walks by with a balloon. <laughs> it's like, go, oh, there's a balloon. Ah, uh, there's 
there's always people in the way filming. But anyway, go check out that video. Link is below. Just had an eBay sale come in. This is a vintage Wrangler men's denim jacket. I picked it up at Goodwill uh, for under three bucks and it sold on sale for $19.99. Of course, I would have liked to get more for it, but I'm trying to move some things out. Uh, and the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. So, and I am now done with all of the Gordman's and TJ Maxx clothing. All of that is listed. So I'm gonna get the, those items hung up or put on the shelves. This rack then is the secondhand clothing that I need to list, but I'm taking a break from the clothing now to kind of work on the vintage stuff. So I just kind of switch back and forth between the two, but oh man, even new with tags and stuff. And I didn't do measurements on these cause they're um, modern um, and knits. So we'll see how that works. I already dreading somebody messaging me. I need this measurements. I'm like, ugh. we'll see if I can get away with that. But anyway, with that, I'm going to wrap up this vlog so I can get it uploaded for tomorrow. Um, if you like these videos, please be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and hit that little bell, I guess, that's next to the subscribe button so you're notified when I do a new video and check all the links below. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.